my name is uh, how do you call it Eloge Eloge in, in, in English it is a fighter yes the one who destroys the company he, he, the enemies the, yeah. a fighter who destroys his enemies yeah, yeah. yeah. who fights wins and disperses yes. his enemies a warrior yes a warrior. That's a good name to have, Paul. <laughs> It's a very strong name. Yeah. This place is a monument to me. It is just a historic monument. It to me should be kept as it is. I'm excited to see many people and to see many things. And among this, the Mikulin Hotel. It is the only place where at least all the refugees who went in survived. The hotel cooks did a lot for us, for me. They were also cooking at a time when there was no electricity. The hotel kitchen was useless. This pool has saved a lot of lives. When my water was cut off, I had no alternative. Then preventing people to come to this pool to swim, but rationing the water for I don't know how long. The whole hotel was evacuated on the 18th of uh, June. The 18th? Yeah. On the 17th, Inter Rahamwe came in the hotel. Yeah. They broke the doors, took people, started taking people down by the pool to kill them. Here I was staying with my children, Dr. Nasasira and his wife and their children. Um, Edward Mutsins with his wife and his child. And on the 17th of July, Of, of June, I, I mean, they entered home weekend in this in this hotel. They broke that door and came in. They put on the door and enter home when they came. They stopped here. They moved around. There was nobody. There was nothing. They went out. Mm -hmm. And my wife and children were staying right, right here. Hiding there in the bathroom. Fortunately, they didn't check. They didn't care about what happens here. Yeah, it is a private. It is a hundred percent private school. Yeah. And it used to be very expensive compared to other schools in Rwanda. Right here in this in this area in Gitwe. The burgmeister is just like the mayor of the region. He killed himself 150 pastors. Because this is a Seventh day Adventist, these are a Protestant school. So the, the leaders all around came to Haim in Gitwe. Traditionally, their headquarters. Yes. And they were, all of them killed him. So that is the place where I did my primary school. And this is the house where we used to stay as students. Oh. Yeah, I taught here for, for some, some months. What did you teach? I was teaching about biology, biology, chemistry, and, um, and Kenya Rwanda. of April, that is when people started being killed. They say that um, about 45,000 people were killed in this place.
this is among the, the biggest sites in the country. Three sites like this one, there is this one, um, there is this one, Gikongoro, another one in Kibeho, and another one, a third one in Kaduha. French soldiers who, who came in June. Yeah. And they were here. They were here. Right. They were Actually, coming they here. didn't come to stop genocide. Yeah. They just came to help that uh, government of killers. And uh, that's how they came, uh, arriving from Goma uh, to the three provinces, uh, Chibuye, Changuku, and Butare. So uh, people who were afraid in Butare, in, in all that part we came from, they ran to here thinking that uh, as the uh, French soldiers are here, they will be protected. But they, uh, they were just mistaken because even the French who came, wanted them to be killed. See, there are some children who were betrayed. They were, they were killing mothers, removing the baby, mother, what are pregnant mothers, and removing babies and killing them so that the mothers one day could not give back to a young children. In this room, which we are going to see now, is um, a room which was, has been reserved for babies, for small kids. You see small bodies, small bodies with a heads which have been uh, completely destroyed. some heads of the dead bodies, you notice that they have been hidden and cut by machetes. He was shot, he was shot and then uh, he, uh, he fell down and they thought he was dead. Only four persons can be to escape. Uh, there were many people who were buried here. They have uh, they have taken out of this place eighteen thousand people who were buried in. They did big holes <laughs> where they brought all the bodies. French. The French. Yeah, French, French, French. Yeah, yeah, they buried them here. And all those bodies we've seen, they were in the holes here. They were in the holes. Yeah. yeah. And then they just covered, they planted grass, and they made a, a volleyball play. play, play. Yeah. And they played? Uh, on the top of the bodies. Okay. You can see that uh, those are the clothes that uh, those people were wearing. The ones they couldn't take, they are here, and some of them, they were taken. They are relatives. The relatives of those people who have seen, those dead bodies who have seen, when they come here, they recognize some clothes from their people. jean Baptiste and his wife and children tried to go to Gitarama as well. They were attacked in the valley, in the Nyabarongo Valley. They came back running. They had left their car on a hill. They came running back. What is his sister? 
the Nausea was killed. She was with them, and she was killed, unfortunately. But in the meantime, when they came to their house, before, I was always trying to ring and see whether they were, where, whether they were still alive. They did not want to answer any telephone call. And one day, when they had nothing, nothing remained remaining in the house, I ran. And when I tried to call, what it said, now I'm going to risk and pick this phone up. And uh, Gasasira said, no, you want these people to come and kill us? She said, in any, in any case, even if they don't kill us, we will die. She picked the phone up. When she picked the phone, uh, the phone up, I said, I, I said, Odette, she said, she, she heard my voice and cried. When she, she explained to me what has happened and what was happening and how they were about to die, I said, hold on. I'm going to send you some people to come and pick you up and bring you to the hotel. He had all the means to leave, but didn't do it. And even the day we decided to leave the hotel, we asked him to leave with us, but he refused. I said, we are friends and good friends. So far, we are still alive, but I'm not coming with you. Because if I come with you, other people who are here in this hotel will be killed. And I, I'll have left them behind. And if they happen to die, I'll never forget that weakness I'll have had in my life. I'll have, I feel as if I'm, I'll be the one who had killed them. say that uh, other people who have done something during that time are heroes. And these Americans, your friends, have seen the truth. Like that, they help us to show to the international opinion the truth, the whole truth about the genocide. So that the genocide or anything of the nature might never happen again. <laughs>